this van side of me is a 170 all-wheel drive Sprinter and this is our Mazama layout. Now something that's very interesting about this van is it's the very first ever Super Pacific pop top. So if you look up top, it kind of looks like a roof rack right now because we've got it closed. But that is actually Super Pacific, the truck camper company. And this is the first one that's ever been put on a van. It pops up this way and we're going to cut in some footage of what that looks like. Um, and we're going to get a little bit more into that in a minute. Uh, the exterior here is starting at the front. We've got a backwoods bumper. This is a Nomad bumper with a light bar. And then we throw in amber LEDs here. These ones come on with your stock fog lights. So no need for a switch for these. They've also got the turning function. So when you turn left, those ones activate. Um, this van came with the factory LED lights. Which is super sexy, of course. Uh, coming around to the side, we did throw on some aftermarket tires. These are the Vulcan AT3Ws. This is a 31 and a half inch tire, so it's the 265-75-16, mounted to the factory black wheel. Um, I really like this layout, and using these agile off-road wheel spacers really gives it that staggered look. It's really good. And then we've used the agile off-road rip kit. So this has the Bilstein shock, the um, Fox shock here, sorry, Bilstein strut and the coil that goes along with that. Now that's covered up with this seal saver so that we don't get any dirt into the gasket and that way it lasts a lot longer. Um, moving along here for the rest of the exterior, we've got some Sierra Lawrence windows and we actually added the extended range fuel tank from SMD filters. So this is the 45 gallon tank. It is 45 gallons on the new 2023s. The 2022s they used to squeeze out an extra two gallons. Uh, that's okay. We have uh, more gas mileage in the 2023s, so we don't really miss it. We're getting about 18 miles per gallon in this all-wheel drive, which is just incredible. Um, at the back, we have the 5,400 pound rear leaf springs. So these are also from Agile. You can see we've got them stacked up there. Um, this just really improves the ride. It also gives you about an inch and a half lift. And then right here, we have the uh, no shear bracket. So this is going to make it so that you, this bolt doesn't break off. Um, once you put the weight in it and you drive it more aggressively off-road, there's been cases where the factory bolt will break off and that is not good. So this is to prevent all of that and even have the uh, auxiliary reservoir on these rear shocks, which really helps with that ride. So this van, we did do flare space flares. We don't always do them on the 170s because you do have the extra length, so it's nice to be able to sleep front to back. That way you're not falling over each other. Um, but since we were doing the pop top, they didn't need all the extra garage space. So we ended up doing the flare space flares. We're sleeping east to west, and I'm gonna show you how big that garage still is. Okay, so we have a 38 inch wide by 55 inch deep garage, and this is tall enough to fit a large and usually an extra large mountain bike with fork mounts. So that's what this L-Track is for here. Okay, one of my favorite things that we're showing off on this van is our all new heated floor system. So we have some PEX lines running through these floors with glycol and that's heated off the aqua hot system which is housed in here. So that heats up off the diesel tank it heats up the glycol loop underneath the van, pumps it into that distribution unit, and pumps it out to either your air, to heat your water, or to heat your floors. Uh, we also have a rear shower on here. So there's your rear shower head, the mixer valve, your whole electrical system on this side. And of course we take pride in our electrical setups. So we have 600 amp hours of uh, Victron batteries in here and a really clean layout by our electricians. We also have Starlink internet, so you have connectivity on the road. We've got the Alpine Van Works rear door bags here. So here's the mid bags, with the lower bags. These mid bags are great for dirty clothes. The lower bags are great for utilities, like this shore power cable. Um, and then on this side, we keep our rear shower curtain and some more gear. Okay. Going along to the side here, 
the nice thing about the Super Pacific is we're actually able to mount a Fiamma awning to it. So we've got that Fiamma bolted into the Super Pacific pop top, which you can't do with a lot of other companies. All right, love the interior of this van. This is our Mazama layout, which means that we've got the two DOT rated seats here. And then we've got four places to sleep. So in this case, instead of doing double bunks in the back, we have the pop top and the other space. Very good. Um, the other fun thing that they've decided to add, I'm gonna shut this door or light it good. So the other thing that we've done here is they're gonna be working from the road and they're actually gonna be living in this van. So we've taken and added this swivel seat with a monitor. drop down table. So he can put his laptop right here. You can actually connect to the monitor through this HD, uh, HDMI port here and connect to his monitor. They can also take this, swivel it this way and watch TV in bed. So really cool system. Uh, really like what they had uh, requested here because it's a really good setup. We did do some bug screens on here. These are by Bugwall, we've got them at the rear as well. Um, we're using a, a hyper matte laminate. So this is a really nice um, feel. It's actually self-healing, so you can um, buff out a scratch and you can have it basically disappear. We've got the double induction cooktop over here. The big isotherm 130 drawer style fridge. We've got some wine in there for the clients. Crisper drawer, freezer. Little trick to these freezers. They don't quite fit a pint of ice cream. So if you come in here and you snip out just three of these little bars with some wire cutters, then the lid of the ice cream goes in there and it fits perfectly. Lots of storage in the upper cabinets. Got them on gas struts. And then we have soft storage cabinets up here. These are actually mounted to L-Track. So if you didn't want them up here, you can take them down in just a minute or so. We also have the Nomadic Cooling AC. So this is running off DC power, super, uh, super efficient. And yeah, you're able to run it for probably about um, nine or 10 hours on this battery bank. And that's without any solar. But since we have uh, 460 watts of solar up on the roof from Xantrex um, that they actually custom made for this pop top, then we're able to run it for significantly longer than that um, during the day. This is our murky bed. So this goes up, the whole thing folds up and into the wall. And then over here, really huge pantry slash closet here. These shelves are removable and you can actually hang clothes in there if you'd like to. Lots of drawer space, and then one big bottom drawer for appliance stuff items. This van has the shower. So this is actually a 32 inch wide shower. Um, it's got the Nautilus door, and it's got uh, you know, a nice shower head with a dual spray action and a pause button, which is really important so you can conserve water. So. Whenever we do a shower, we always have a pause button on there um, because you want to be able to stop that so you're not just using water the whole time. Um, we do have 30 gallons of water on board, so it's not super limited, but um, just, you know, super good to be conscious of how much water you're using. And last but not least, the sink here. This doubles as a cutting board, so I always recommend to people to cut on one side, keep the other side nice. And then we have our faucet and the water drop water filtration system. This is great carbon filter, um, nice tasty water so you're not carrying jugs of water around. And then I love to put a soap dispenser in the vans because it's always a pain in the butt when you have a soap bottle just floating around in your sink, bouncing all over the place when you drive. So you might as well just fill it from the top, leave it there, never touch it. Um, 
And we have this set up as well for a uh, microwave or a toaster oven, depending on what they want to do. They haven't quite decided yet, but we have the outlet in here ready to go. So all they need to do is toss it in and cruise. And then finally, this is the Super Pacific Pop Top. This goes way up, creates that penthouse, and um, we've got it trimmed out with this nice bamboo to match all the cabinets. All right, well, go to our website, take a look. We have a builder coming out where you can build your own Mazama and see what it'll cost, see the design, pick your colors, pick your accessories. It's gonna be awesome, so go check it out.